At the heart of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals lies a commitment to reduce inequality within and among countries. It is a goal in itself, but also a necessity for other goals to be met, because inequality is a formidable barrier to sustainable development in Asia and the Pacific and reflects a weak social contract. Income and wealth inequalities hinder inclusion and stifle progress towards ending poverty. They slow economic growth, prolong economic downturns, and spur exclusion and marginalization. Unequal access to adequate nutrition locks in disadvantage early, slowing physical and cognitive development, dashing life prospects. And without affordable access to healthcare, unexpected medical expenses can lead to poverty and put lives at risk. Too many in our region are still denied secondary and higher education, especially girls from poor rural households. Women are routinely deprived of decent work and political participation. They are paid less than men and do not always have equal rights to land ownership, property, and inheritance. Unequal access to basic services is one of the greatest challenges faced by the poor. Access to toilets and latrines connected to sewage systems or septic tanks remains low for the poorest, endangering people's health, undermining their dignity, and putting women at risk of violence. Dirty fuels continue to be used to cook, heat, and light homes because clean energy is unaffordable to many. The resulting pollution kills up to 2 million people per year in our region. Unequal access to decent jobs traps billions of people in poverty and vulnerability with long-lasting implications for generations. Slums are a jarring manifestation of inequality in cities across our region. Environmental degradation is both a result and a contributor to income inequality because the poor are disproportionately dependent on nature. Unequal access to justice undermines social cohesion and the promotion of peaceful societies. All these inequalities can be confronted if political will is accompanied by investment in people. Where social protection and progressive taxation policies exist, income distribution is more equitable and poverty and vulnerability less prominent. Interventions to improve nutrition, child grants, and cash plus programs have paid off, particularly combined with investments in girls' education. Universal health coverage, as established in, for example, Thailand and Bhutan, have neutralized a major cause of poverty by significantly reducing healthcare costs. More solid foundations for equality are being laid. Every $1 invested in education in low-income countries improves life chances and generates a return of $10 in income and health benefits. Upholding gender equality in the workplace could boost global GDP by 11.8 trillion by 2025. Basic clean water and electricity are now available to over 90% of the population of our region, helping people remain healthy and supporting broader development. The same ambition is now required for extending basic sanitation and access to clean fuels. Providing basic income security and access to healthcare empowers marginalized people to deal with life's contingencies and find decent work. Social protection also gives farming and fishing communities the means to adapt to climate change and to manage natural resources in a more sustainable manner. Universal social protection reduces inequality and strengthens the social contract between citizens and the state. It is time to extend its coverage and accelerate progress towards sustainable development in Asia and the Pacific.